back here in Strong Island, a nine pin game right now between O'Neill and Belmonte. And here is Bill O'Neill in the sixth. One of the phrases O'Neill used this week to us, Randy, was open mind. You know, I got to keep an open mind this week. Play the lanes different in different blocks. Don't count on one part of the lane to always be there. Right, and that's because of the experience from the other six telecasts that, he, that he's been involved in, and it, it's just a huge learning curve. O'Neill's got the talent physically. Now he's putting it to use mentally. Looking for a turkey here in the seventh. And it's a good shot, just leaves a week 10 on a double with a spare here. This match is all even. What, you looked at me funny, what? I was waiting for you to say, and you're now up to date. Oh. <laughs> no, we, we used that one a couple weeks ago. So Neil picks up the single pin spare. Jason Belmonte, again, we, we talked about all the media attention he's received this season. And I said, are, th are there guys out there that are jealous of this attention? He said, you know, I think so. It's hard to see it because they won't say it to your face. And, you know, I think there's some people out there who think I'm, quote, the pet of the PBA. But they're a little bit confused in that, yes, he's been given some leeway. Not that one. That was he's been given good. a lot of attention, but Not that, that attention... One is on him, but it's also really for the good of all of those involved at the PBA. Hey, Rob, why are you trying to start stuff, man? Why are you trying to cause trouble? I like going in the locker room, stealing some things, placing them in other people's locker rooms. You know, the bottom line is any and all press that we can get for this sport, it, it's all for the, the best, and, and it benefits all of the players. And if that means bringing in international flavor or a guy like Jason Belmonte to get us in the Wall Street Journal, to get us on Good Morning America, it benefits all the players out here. There's no way it's a bad thing. Absolutely not. And, and I understand how people could be a little jealous of it because as an, as an athlete, a top-level athlete, you're always fighting for yourself. You know, I mean, you're, you're a team as well, but this is such a single sport. You want some of that attention for yourself. But what he has done and what the PBA, with their backing, has really added a lot of exposure to this league. But now the pressure is on him to back it up. Oh, trouble. Oh. That's a troubling oh. strike. Boy, you see the difference in power there where Bill O'Neill throws a really good shot, leaves a week 10. And Jason Belmonte with a rev rate of about 650 just opens up the rack and throws pins everywhere. Watch this. I mean, these pins get slapped silly. With all that speed and all that, all that power and revolutions, there's not a whole lot left standing. Yeah, that's, a, that's good bowling shrapnel right there. O'Neill can blow him up with the best of them as well. Unfortunately for Jason Belmonte, he's taking on a guy who's having a career year, making his seventh telecast. He's got a lot of experience this season under the bright lights of this tour. And if he strikes on this ball, he cannot be shut out in this match. And if he wins, he'll take on the number one seed and his best friend, Michael Fagan. Oh, baby! Yeah, keep quiet. But O'Neill and Jason Belmonte also becoming fast friends. Again, we mentioned all three of those guys are top three seeds. All stayed under one roof this week here in Long Island. At Michael Fagan's home. The week off, they all went to Paris to bowl a tournament, which Michael Fagan ended up winning. It's like their BFS. Like you and me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect! Perfect! So, do you think he liked it? I think he liked that one. And if he caught the ringing 10 in the seventh frame, he'd be in the driver's seat in this match. 
How about that? You want to talk about talent? Yeah, he can hook it. Yeah, he puts a lot of revs on it. But how about throwing a plastic ball straight up five, going right at the one three with the high hard one on the right lane? His highest career finish in the PBA tournament was 10th at the PBA World Championships in Wichita earlier this season. Gets the 10 to kick. On Wednesday, he finished in the eighth and final pro qualifier spot, and that was by one pin. Once there, the struggles ensued until that 300 game he rolled Thursday morning. Yeah, the, once. Go ahead. The, I'm only, sorry. the only perfect game thrown this week. Yeah, correct. And once he got on shark pattern, he just lit him up. But right now, two more strikes. He'll shoot 246. That will force Bill O'Neill to get all three in the tenth to win by one. So all of a sudden now, forget about all of the publicity and all of that stuff. Right now, he's just bowling on instinct. And he admitted yesterday, all this publicity has affected his bowling. It was cutting into his bowling. In his brain, he was saying, all right, after this, I, I got to return this call. I got to talk to this reporter. And he said, you know what, this week, I said, I'm going to bowl, and then I'm going to check my voicemail. And, and a lot has been put on his shoulders publicity-wise. He's handling it very well this week in the Big Apple. And Rob, thank you. 245 for Jason. Rob, I gotta be honest with you, that that second shot in the tenth, obviously huge, but I think the fill shot just as big because I think for a player's psyche, it's much tougher oh. to get up thinking, I need all three strikes. Silly boy. I think it, it's a, a huge load, or, or the load is lessened when you know, hey, I need a double and nine, and I can still win this. There's the front part of the double. One more in nine, or two more strikes. Bill O'Neill takes on his good friend and roommate, Michael Fagan. But all he's thinking about right now is two more shots just like that. Again, Bill O'Neill, zero Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour titles. He's gone 78 events without a title. Ninth longest streak among current exempt players without winning a title. Oh. And there will be no title today for Bill O'Neill. Jason Bomani's going to bowl for the title. Bill O'Neill gets this one in the oil just a little bit. It pushes just a shade long. Big time ring in 10. And his buddy Jason watching. Happiness and sadness pretty much at the same time. When I asked Jason yesterday, I said, you, you guys got any side bets going on? He said, no, mate. You know, I, I don't want to take money from a friend. You know, I don't want money to exchange. And that's the kind of approach he has. Jason Belmonte, some thunder from down under. The two-hand wonder moves on to the title game to take on his good friend, the number one seed, Michael Fagan.